from the day I knew what a hero was, that was my dad. He was my hero. He was just a very hardworking guy, and his whole deal was to fix cars. He learned how to fix cars from his stepdad. Then he got a little shop behind the gas station, and a, a guy drives in with an MGTC and asks if he can fix it. And he looks over at it and goes, sure. And that was the beginning. When I was a kid, I didn't fully understand or appreciate how big a deal my grandfather was, how much he meant to the car world, especially in Southern California. He took the least amount of race car, could always beat some of the bigger, faster cars. My dad was a force of nature. He was always one of the fastest guys driving. During this time, he also drove for Peter Brock and the BRE Dotsons. He won the national championship in that. He raced 10 miles many times. Jack McAfee, Pete Lovely, who raced for Lotus. But no, he was quite a guy. Quite a guy. The really nice and advantageous thing about uh, the business built around the ability to go racing by my grandfather, then by my father, is that the uh, time to get off of work to go racing is always understood and appreciated and encouraged. I started working on them just after high school when dad made me get a job. My affinity with the MGB especially started when I was pretty young. My uncle raced an MGB. That was the car I fell in love with. That's what I had to have. MGBs come with an 1800cc four-cylinder motor. It is not a high revving type of motor. It, it uh, takes off smoothly from the idle, even if you put a little bit of a cam in it, which we do, give it just a little more performance. Where we're located and kind of the face of the foothills, we're very fortunate to have a number of really uh, fantastic mountain roads to, to drive cars up and down. Once we get the car running and ready to drive, we'll start with a small drive, getting ever increasingly further from the shop. And then we'll go for long rides, but just before it's done, drive up, drive up to Mount Baldy or Glendora Mountain Road. We use them quite often to make sure it's ready to be delivered, that it's going to start and drive and stop and do everything that they expect it to do. MDBs are really great cars to drive. They ride very, very well. They're smooth. For a disc brake, drum brake car, they stop on a dime. They're, none of the controls are too heavy. The transmissions work great. The clutches work great. They're, they're just very nice cars. These are more of a touring car, so they're not as nimble and quick. These are more of a cruising, like, go on a road trip kind of car. We like driving these cars because they're actually an adventure. It doesn't do anything to distract from driving. And that's what makes it fun. It's satisfying. In an MGB, it's very relaxing, very comfortable seating position, very, very easy, light car to drive. You're not just putting it in drive and letting it autopilot there. I mean, you're shifting, no power steering, no power brakes. Most of the time, the smallest vehicle on the road. They have the worst weather equipment. It's unbelievable for an island country that's cold and wet. All of the all the weather gets in the car. Every one of them have terrible heaters, terrible wipers, and they all leak water. None of them seal very well. It's amazing. I have four grandchildren, and it really looks like they're all going to be into motorsports one way or another. It's going to be fantastic that there's another generation that's going to be doing just as much as we did. When I was younger, when I was racing, all I wanted to do was work, make money, fix my race car, go to the next race. The older I get, the more burden falls on Greg, and he's up for it. I mean, he can do it, and he's fantastic about it. It's a trust that this is important to him. I feel very responsible to carry on, to make this prosper as my dad has done for 50 years. I'm Frank Moniz. And I am Greg Moniz, and this is why I drive.